Welcome to the channel. My name is Erica Lucas. I'm a minimalist dragging my husband along my decluttering minimalism journey. And today we're tackling his video game collection. I need three willing video game testers who's gonna Ooh, me, me. who can play the games and see if they still work. What do you think? Me, yes, yes. We have four bins and a box in the basement that have been sitting there since we moved in. Along the way of unpacking and decluttering the boxes from our basement, we have pulled together all of his video game stuff into those bins. And today we're gonna tackle them. We're gonna bring them upstairs. We're gonna sort them, organize, maybe declutter. He has said he doesn't really wanna get rid of them. He thought about it back in September when we first started talking about that. He was kind of ready to let go of them. A lot of money. But they do have a lot of sentimental value to me, and I would love to hook them back up at some point. Okay. Uh, what video game systems do you even own right now? Switch, uh, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 1, uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and GameCube. And, and Dreamcast. And so oh yeah, there's a Wii. He would like to go through them. He's thinking he wants to actually like put them in on, connect them to the TV in the house if they work and use them with the kids. He has a lot of sentimental attachment to his video games and his systems, so he wants to be able to play them with his kids. We have one gaming system already set up, Nintendo Switch. That's enough for me, but I don't play video games, so this is not my world. This is his world and his world with the kids, so I'm going to make space in our home for the things that he wants to keep and pull upstairs, so we're gonna do that today. Oh, this one's cool. No. Okay, this one's cool. No. It's an Xbox. Are these like from the 90s and early 2000s? Some of them are from the 90s, yeah. So do you want to like set up a gaming area, like a video game area? How do you want to do this? Right now we don't have a good TV for it. So at some point we'll get a TV, maybe it's secondhand or something, I don't know, um, and set up a nice area for playing video games. Yeah, a couple chairs, a couch, that kind of stuff. If it's in here, that's cool. <coughs> Why can't it be this TV? It can be here. Okay. Uh, but you don't want a bunch of video game clutter in there. Well, the, let's the figure that out. That's part of part of this. Um, but yeah, but I can pretty easily, if I have them all in a nice box, I can pretty easily break them out, hook them up quick, and we could play. Okay, so we're talking about organization that's different than this. Mm -hmm. This is storage. This is just protecting them in the basement. <laughs> that TV's not even on. <laughs> okay, so. Becca, you're going to be in charge of unpacking that. Jack, you're going to be in charge of unpacking this over here. Brandon, this? you are in charge of... Oh, putting them in the correct piles. I was going to give you that job. Interesting. Okay. I, I All right. Talking. Go ahead. Okay, so this is the box labeled Nintendo. It's clearly not all Nintendo because that's PlayStation 3, the one Jack is most interested in. Do you need so, a way of labeling things like post-its or index cards? I don't think so. Not You'll at this remember? Point, not at this point. So, Jack, where should we put the PlayStation 3 pile? There's a Wii. PlayStation. PlayStation 3. Can you give this okay. to Three. This is Xbox. Brand Xbox 360. Okay. Why don't we put this right there on the floor? Okay. Does this go with it too? Yes, that goes with the Xbox 360. These are all Wii. Find a place for them. How about right there? Right there on that cushion. Wii. Okay, well, hold on, Rebecca. That's a new one. That's PlayStation. Uh, Four. PlayStation Two. Ooh, okay. a new one. We need a new pile. I'll give this to mommy. Ah, this is what did you say you have upstairs, two. Andy? What is this? Uh, PlayStation Four. This is Super Nintendo. Uh oh, that's a new one. We need to find one. a place for Super Nintendo. So that goes with the, the cable. Oh, wait. This, I believe, this is. Yep, oh, just this put is it with Sega. Me. I'll buy all the Wii. Let's hold off on that for a minute. Wii? That is not a Wii. That is a Nintendo 4. GameCube. So another uh -oh. pile. I'm guessing. Wii. Wii. That is the Wii. Band so set it down where it's not going to fall, please. That's a game. That's a Nintendo 64. Set it down. Set. Those are Super Nintendo. Check. So they're on the end. Not empty. Show. Oh, that goes with Wii. Show mommy 
the bin. Good job, you guys. Thank you for being so gracious as I drop in sponsor content a couple times a month. And this month I have Harry's to thank for the sponsored content in this video. And I have a great deal for you for anybody in your life who shaves. Harry's makes simple, high quality products for men and for women. I have the Ember color razor. They also have ocean, sage, and charcoal colors. The razors have deep handle grooves and 50% of the plastic in their handles is recycled. Harry's has been grinding high quality steel into some of the world's sharpest blades since 1920. That means they have been mastering the design of this razor for over a hundred years. The flex hinge follows the curves of my legs and my underarms so well. You can redeem your starter kit for only $3 when you go to harrys.com slash Erica Lucas. In your starter kit, you're gonna get a five blade razor, the weighted handle, a blade cover and foaming shave gel. And razor refolds are delivered to your door. They have a 100% money back guarantee and the razor refolds are set at affordable prices. So you can continue to have a great shave from premium quality blades. Thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this segment in the video. We need another pile. Sega Dreamcast. Yeah. From the bin labeled Nintendo, you unpacked eight different gaming systems. Well, don't forget we had the cardboard box and this gray bin oh, too. Oh, you had, okay, they so were, from But they're three small, okay. they're small, but yeah. Oh wow, so what do you have left in here? Is this movies that, and cables? That, that is all just general cable stuff and movies, yeah. So they're not okay. associated with any specific gaming system. Well, what do you see? Good. What do you see? <laughs> what do you see? Is it really satisfying to rip it off, Jack? Okay, yeah. wait, wait, Rebecca, Jack's in charge of this bin. Jack, place Jack hand me things, okay? This, I'm gonna hand these to, to Rebecca and Brent. Hey, PlayStation oh, yeah. 3. Okay, PlayStation 2. That is the PlayStation 2, so be careful with it. Hold on, don't pull, don't pull it by the cord, okay? This is put them all in the green bin, please. Put them all in the green bin, please. Good job, you yeah. guys! It's like your belt, Becca. Yes, what? set it right there, right between the vent and the, and the cabinet. Between the vent and the cabinet, it's PlayStation 1. Yeah. We don't have Xbox One. Hold on a second, let's see if... Yeah, I mean, this is Xbox One. Okay, start an Xbox One. Well, Xbox pile. One pile is right over here, Xbox guys. One. PlayStation 2. That's over in the corner. It looks like the Xbox Open. Xbox One cord. So just set them with the PlayStation. Now, Whoa. the last item cool. is called Sega Game Gear. Whoa. Whoa. This is awesome. Good job, you guys. Okay, so what we've done is unpacked five storage bins of video games and have parts for 16 different gaming systems. <laughs> Sega Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, Xbox 360. Uh, this is Xbox and uh PSP and Xbox One and Xbox Original. Under here in this bag is Sega Genesis. It's in a bag. Sega Genesis? Okay. Sega Game Gear. Okay. PlayStation. Wii. PlayStation 2. PlayStation 3. Nintendo GameCube. Super Nintendo. Motion. And then Nintendo Switch here and PlayStation 4 upstairs. We have 16 gaming system, either parts or whole collections. Console. Oh, okay, good idea. Uh, Nintendo 64, no games. <laughs> PSP, uh, no console. So Andy's going through and figuring out what whole systems he has. If he has a whole system, he circles it. That means he's got the cords, the power cords, the controllers, the, the console, games. That's what a complete system is. And then he's making notes about which systems are missing what and what he wants to do with each thing and kind of making a plan for each of the six parts for the 16 systems. So that's what he's doing now. And we are patiently waiting <laughs> to help him. So Andy's researching what he could sell 
some of the things he's considering selling. He's researching what he could get for them. So these are the ones, the systems that are incomplete. So I, man, I imagine I'm not gonna get a lot for any of them. If I could get 20 bucks for it, is that worth it? I don't know. Maybe. The games. I was like, I have no console for Sega Dreamcast. So I'm instantly like, well, maybe I should just, uh, I don't need to try to sell that, but the games might sell. I don't know. Would you like to make a, okay, so let me, let me kind of, cause I know you wanted to keep as much as you could cause that was your intention. Yeah. So do you want to find the game console for Sega Dreamcast? No, I never liked the Dreamcast. Okay, so this is not a system you're intending to keep it. Right. We're shaving and off I, the 16. I suspect I may have thrown it away already. <laughs> so this, you're, this is a declutter. First step, the decision to let go of it has been made. The second mm -hmm. step of how you're gonna get rid of it out of the house has not been made. Right. Okay, so this is either sell or trash. Yes. And trash responsibly, which I will now talk about. I'm gonna put this up here in the declutter pile. Mm -hmm. You said the guns don't really work. I'm also a fan of yeah. just not having toy guns in the house. Mm -hmm. That's just mm -hmm. me. This is tr Those are trash. Trash, and then this is either trash or sell. Right. Okay. You can take old video gaming systems to Staples, Best Buy, and other electronics recycling centers and just drop them off, just like you would with cables of old computers, old TVs, that kind of a thing. So that is what we are gonna do with all the things that Andy's getting rid of and he doesn't wanna sell. Battery daddy. <laughs> Such a great suggestion. Does it work? Which one is this? This is the Sega Game Gear. I have volume. I see z I see no video, but... Whoa. But I see no picture. It, it seems that the screen doesn't work. I'm going to try it with some different games. Okay. See if that makes a difference. Oh, see if the game was the problem. I can try Ren and Stimpy, Quest for the Shaven Yak. Mm-hmm. That's really a game. Lovely. I can try to get this open. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Ooh. What? And I can try Star Trek. Mm -hmm. I can't even read that because I need glasses. Another audio. All three of these. Audio, no visual. So it's a so no no bueno on the system. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so which system is that? That was the Sega Game Gear. Sega Game Gear. So that is now a recycle. Yes. And all the games and and controllers and cords. I'm gonna look at what games go for on eBay, but I'll probably just get rid of them too. Okay. But the the console itself is trash. Recycle. Uh, yep, I will. Recycling, recycle, yes. electronics yes. recycling. Except what? I will keep the batteries because <laughs> I barely used them, so they're still good. <laughs> Thanks, Bear. He holds the TV out for me. <laughs> that's why you wanted him? Yep. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Are you going to have to do this every time you want to plug the Wii in? I, what I'm, this time, yes. So I'm going to get an RCA cord it goes like this, it's not gonna have a special end on the other end, it's just gonna have other plugs just like this. It'll basically be an extension. It'll come down, it'll stick out down there by the game console, and then that's where I'll plug these into for whatever game system I'm plugging in. Oh. So it'll go. It'll just stick out right down there where the other cords come out okay. for the systems. And, and So what you're there. doing is making it so you can plug the Wii in down there, yes. not up here. Yes, but I don't have that cord handy right now. Okay, so you're just testing if the Wii works with uh, this TV. Essentially, yes. Okay. Now. Don't we have another TV downstairs? Where's the TV that you had when you were deployed? Uh, we have one in our bedroom and one downstairs. Does the one in our bedroom have everything you need? Yeah. What do you think, guys? Yeah. You can video game here. Where do you plug this in? Starting with a bin I have already. This is a $5 bin from Walmart. And we're gonna set up Wii first because we know we know we want that to work and we're gonna test it. This is Rebecca's. 
What? This giant mushrooms! Well, how do you... What do you get? Uh. What are we on? Uh, this is Xbox. Potentially sell. Which Xbox? Where's Origi your list? Original. Uh, I don't know what the list is. So, this is... A, we, things we're recycling at the electronics. Recycling. Drop off. Things he might be able to sell, but he needs to research if it's worthwhile. And then this is recycling slash trash. Out there, and there are, there's a there's a there's collector's a market, market for this. For this. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Put it in the sell stack. Yeah. I looked through all these games, and there really aren't any that that kids will like. Um, some of them are, are inappropriate for kids, so I'm going to try to sell this system. 64, no games. Um, I would not call that one vintage. Actually just organizing all the systems together was huge for Andy. He could see that he was missing parts that would enable him to play, and he had decided he didn't want to buy the replacement parts, that it wasn't worth it to him. And once he narrowed down the ones he wanted to keep, he ended up with 12 that he didn't want to keep, and he wanted to either sell or trash. It was huge for him to let go of 75% of what he was hanging on to. Estimated $50. For everything you have there? Probably for everything, yeah. And then what, you have to ship it and stuff. You yeah, but, uh, but that cost goes to the, the buyer. And what would you do, put it on eBay or something? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't have a video cable anyway. So is it electronics recycling? I think so. This is electronics recycling. We ran out of space up there. <laughs> okay, so we ended up with two fully empty bins. Well, ultimately four fully empty bins because this is gonna be trashed um, or recycling here at the house. This is gonna be dropped off at the recycling center and these were just general cables and DVD movies that were left. And then everything up here is what Andy's going to attempt to sell. And if it doesn't sell, then we will put it in the electronics recycling bin. And then let's go look at what we chose to keep. The four systems that you've decided to keep are Nintendo Switch, PS4, Wii, Super Nintendo. And they all have bins now in the library. They're out and about in your life. Very good, very good. <laughs> no longer in the basement. There's the bin you're gonna get. PS, whoa, too close to the TV, baby. Move back so you don't hit the TV by accident. What? Super oh. Nintendo. Wii. You want to pick a new game? A different game? No. Okay, I don't think you guys have this game. Thank you. This is not a child appropriate game. Can I please see this? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. I need to take out some things that don't belong in here. I'll put him up here in his cell stack. He can decide what he wants to do. PS4. I'm just gonna do a games check. I'm gonna add these to the stack here also that I don't want my kids playing. So now Andy is testing each gaming system that he is thinking about selling to see if he can get power and get games to, uh, to load. Reset that. Yeah, you want to strip it, right? You don't want personal information? Yeah. Oh, Ethan. <laughs> That's your cousin. Back when he used to Wasn't hang out with us all the time. Wasn't now he's 21 years old and he's too cool for school, but beer brewer 17. He stripped the Xbox and now they're setting it up to take photographs to put onto eBay for sale. And my oldest asked to help, so he's product positioning here to get a good photograph for selling it online. Okay, put the heaviest thing first. Then the next heaviest. Gentle. And then the lightest. Gentle. Good job. And that's GameCube? Mm -hmm. okay. It's GameCube for you. Okay. So they're doing this for all the gaming systems that Andy has decided to sell and my oldest is photographing and then putting each game system into a bag for organization. So Andy, you went into this thinking that you would not 
declutter anything, that you were going to keep yeah, most right. everything. Mm -hmm. um, and you ended up keeping four and getting rid of 12 parts, yeah. consoles, gaming systems. Yeah. Here we are lined up for sale. What do you... Uh, there's, there's seven six, there. Seven. Several, several of them got, got uh, recycled or whatnot because there's just not enough parts or they don't work or whatever. There's So there's some systems that... that even when they were new, I didn't really like them so much. Uh, maybe it's a function of the, the games that I had weren't very good. I don't know. Um, but I decided not to keep them. Um, and a lot of a lot of systems I had that um, the games aren't anything I'm interested in playing. And it's stuff that's just not appropriate for the kids. So yeah. there's no reason to, to keep those. And um, a lot of the stuff is available on the later consoles. You just have to, you know, purchase the game again and download it digitally or whatever. So memories tied to some of these. When I was testing them out, I turned them on and there was some nostalgia there, but there's not time in my life now, nor will there ever be time when I'm interested in just sitting down for hours and playing some of these old games. When you sit and play for hours now, it's on the Nintendo Switch. Switch or on the computer. Or on the computer yeah. with the kids. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But it's nice to have something that you chose to keep we mm -hmm. folded into the house yep. we can be really deliberate about how we play mm -hmm. you were very deliberate deliberate about your selection yeah um the the one thing that that i do like a lot about this is um my original thought that i would set all these systems up and we would just play whatever we wanted whenever we wanted isn't realistic because tvs can't handle the old signals anymore without special adapters plus how do i hook 16 systems into one tv now I got four. That's easy. Yeah. It's easy. And we dedicated a TV to it that we weren't really dedicated using Dedicated a TV anyway. that we weren't using, yeah. That's right. So we can be really intentional. Intentional? We can be really intentional with our video game time. Yeah. Which we already are, but now we just have more choices. Mm-hmm. That's it. So, good. Okay. Something to note is that we started this project seven hours ago. And this is probably like a 20 to 25 minute video when I'm done with it. We burned a day in this project and we mostly being Andy burned an entire day doing this project to rid himself of some things that just sat in the basement that he didn't use and now it's something we don't have to move he the mission was to pull gaming systems into the house for you to use with the kids mission accomplished yep. so maybe you'll make a couple bucks on the side by selling whatever you're going to sell he built a spreadsheet and now now you just gotta get it all listed.